here to prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. We come to remember when God visited the earth in the form of a child. And we meet to worship the Lord and to celebrate the new life he offers us. We pray that we will experience God's presence in a fresh way. This is the true meaning of Christ's birth. The angel said he would be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. God is always with us, but when we welcome his spirit into our hearts and minds, we experience the comfort and the power of God's presence. Before Christ came into the world, God's people awaited his arrival for centuries. So now, we wait that God will move among us as we listen to the story of the Christmas miracle. The psalmist said, The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. While the world waited, the Spirit of God was stirring. Angels began to appear and brought messages to earth as they prepared for Christ's birth. And the angel said to Mary, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus. Fear not, for the Lord is with you. Listen as Luke records Christ's birth, when the Lord of heaven and earth became flesh and lived among us. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. And
They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. We can join the Magi in their giving as we draw near to the Lord and open the treasures of our hearts. Instead of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, we bring our gifts of love, adoration, and praise as we bow to worship the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace. When we are in the presence of the Lord, we feel His holy peace and all is well. of our sanctuary to sing some Christmas carols. And don't forget to say hello to the animals. We also welcome you back for any of our Sunday morning worship services held at 11 a.m. and to our candlelight Christmas Eve service on December 24th at 6 p.m. Finally, we pray God's blessings upon you and your family and wish you a Merry Christmas from Sardis United Methodist Church.